Well, the good from the weekend. Um, I, I told you this on Friday, so you had it here first on KCMO, as you oftentimes will. But the Royals renderings for the East Village Stadium and the North Kansas City Stadium are set to be rolled out tomorrow. Other media outlets confirmed that over the weekend. But we will be getting the renderings for each proposed ballpark and ballpark village tomorrow from the Kansas City Royals. So that means you'll get a look at what it's going to look like um, depending on where the Royals ultimately end up building and you'll have that decision by the end of September, is what they're saying. I, I still don't love the dog and pony show that's going on right now, where it's like, hey, here's your two finalists, wink, wink, nod, nod, as if the Royals don't actually know where they want to be. I think that the people in charge, I believe that John Sherman knows where he wants to go. I don't think that we're down to the, which side is it going to be? Where are we go? I, I, I just find that impossible to believe. I'm happy to be proven wrong on that, but I just find that impossible to believe. I think they've got a front runner right now, and I believe after last week that front runner is up north. And it makes sense for a multitude of reasons. But to me, last week when the commissioner of Major League Baseball was here, Rob Manfred, and the leader of the city in Jackson County, Kansas City, Quentin Lucas was not there, and Frank White, the executive of the county, was not there. Meantime, you know, every Tom, Dick, and Harry from Clay County was there uh, i think that's worth something i think that says something i think it says something about clay county wanting it and i think it also says something about jackson county kind of throwing in the towel a little bit here so we'll get the uh renderings coming up uh tomorrow sometime and then you'll be able to see them for yourself in terms of what each location is going to look like uh the bad from the weekend kid rock what the hell is this guy what is kid rock thinking So Kid Rock was seen over the weekend at a concert, Colt Ford concert, drinking a Bud Light. Like, dude, what? What? How dare you? What are you doing, man? Like, Kid Rock's the guy who back in April took an AR to a couple of cases of Bud Light and was blasting them in his backyard. You acting like that never happened, Kid Rock? What are you thinking there, man? You got to know better. The boycott's not over. Like, And I'm sorry if that's the only beer you can get. At least like put scotch tape, or I guess that wouldn't work, duct tape over the Bud Light part of the can. I know we would all know what it was anyway, but at least bring your own koozie. I mean, do something. Do something if you know when you're going to drink a Bud Light, Kid Rock. You know that everyone's going to take a photo of you. Like, Kid Rock can't be that dumb. Okay, fine. Maybe he can be. But you would like to think that he didn't forget his viral video of blasting through multiple cases of Bud Light in his own backyard. You would like to think he didn't forget that, but apparently he did. Now, that being said, on a good note, I was in a high V over the weekend, and this is going to be the true test of this Bud Light boycott. We are now at the time of year When because of Bud Light's relationship with the NFL, every NFL team now has its logos on Bud Light cans. I was in Hy-Vee over the weekend, and I saw the Chiefs logos on the Bud Light cans. Now, the good news is, and I put this up on my Facebook page, the good news is there was only one case gone from the palette of 100 cases of Bud Light cases with chiefs logos on them there was one case out of a hundred on the pallet gone when i was in high v over the weekend so i think you're still holding strong but this will be the test as to whether or not bud light is going to bounce back if nfl fans start buying up their favorite team's logos on the bud light cans they may get a bounce back but if they don't it's going to be game over. Well, in that one case, I've seen videos where, like, seagulls work the sliding doors and go in and steal a sandwich <laughs> and, and then come back out. So I'm wondering maybe if I let a dog in, the dog <laughs> just drug it out <laughs> or something. Uh, I guess that could have happened, John. That's entirely possible. You know, you can't rule it out. No, 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 no. You cannot rule it out. I will absolutely give you <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, so you can go see that. I took a photo of it there on uh, 
my Facebook page. You can see it for yourself. Now, the ugly, the ugly, the ugly, the ugly has to be this weather. I mean, not only over the weekend, which it was disgusting. Last night at 7 o'clock, I looked at my phone, and uh, the real feel temperature was 114 degrees at 7 p.m. last night. Right now, here in Corporate Woods, it is 80 degrees, and the humidity is 88%. I mean, that is horrific for 7.55 in the morning. Here we are. It's going to be a hot week. Um, The weekend was brutal. We're going to reach 105 degrees on Thursday. It's going to break by Saturday, and thank goodness for that. But this is nasty. Now, it's also going to be nasty, by the way, is probably the half a dozen editorials from the Kansas City Star about how climate change is real, and here's your latest example. Like, I, Regardless of what you feel about it, and I get it, the climate is changing. The only question is how much of it is us. The notion that you're going to take a five-day, like the people that insist on trusting science take five days in the history of the planet and will take these five days in the history of the planet and then, t- and then use these five days on why we need to, you know, have uh, solar panel farms and wind farms all over Kansas City. It truly is amazing that they will take a week in the history of humankind and use it to further their political narrative on wind farms and solar panels. Don't forget last Tuesday, the high was 78. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, no, no, no. But that, that, they don't talk about that. Come on now, Mark. That doesn't fit the damn narrative around here. Jeez, what are you doing? Come on, man. But yeah, uh, they, they, they are just going to go hog wild this week, and you're going to see the meteorologists out in full force and the whole thing. It is going to be quite a sight to behold. So enjoy it while you're sitting inside in the AC.